Hello and welcome. The aviation bug can be caught by hanging around airfields. Young teenager Sally Connors had caught it. She had been taking flying lessons since she was 13 at Carlsbad Airport. She was eligible to get her pilot's license on her 17th birthday. She read everything she could find about female pilots, the stories of Amelia Earhart, Harriet Quimby, Pancho Barnes, Bessie Coleman, Amy Johnson, Jacqueline Cochran and Willa Brown were inspiring. Her chores at Carlsbad included walking the runway to ensure it's clear of debris, running errands for pilots and washing down aircraft. Sally was happy being there. If she was lucky, one of the local pilots would take her up for a ride and maybe she could control the aircraft. It was May 16, 1980, and the airport was preparing for the Memorial Day Air Show. The main attraction was going to be James Stewart, actor, pilot, and World War II hero. He was going to fly his vintage P-51 Mustang fighter down from Los Angeles and perform at the show. Sally read up on the P-51 and James Stewart's flying history. She even compiled a list of questions to ask the iconic actor. Sally learned that the North American Aviation P-51 Mustang was an American long-range, single-seat fighter and fighter-bomber used during World War II and the Korean War. Gee, it looks like I'm back in the movies again, doesn't it? Please. The Mustang was designed in 1940 by North American Aviation. It was originally designed to use the Ellison V-1710 engine, which, in its earlier variants, had limited high-altitude performance. It was first flown operationally by the RAF as a tactical reconnaissance aircraft and fighter-bomber. The replacement of the Ellison with a Rolls-Royce Merlin resulted in the P-51B and C models and transformed the Mustang's performance at altitudes above 15,000 feet, allowing the aircraft to compete with the Luftwaffe's fighters. The definitive version, the P-51D, was powered by the Packard V-1650-7, a license-built version of the Rolls-Royce Merlin 66 two-stage, two-speed, supercharged engine and was armed with six 50 caliber Browning machine guns. Jimmy Stewart's wartime P-51 Mustang was modified to civilian use by having a taller tail fin, wing tip tanks and a second seat placed where the fuselage fuel tank once was. He had named his plane Mustang Sally, not after Sally Connors, but after his granddaughter Sally. It was the Sunday before Memorial Day when Sally Connors heard an approaching aircraft. The control tower was unmanned as no aircraft were expected. She ran to the tower, found a pair of binoculars and looked to the west. Suddenly, there was a radio transmission. Carlsbad, this is Mustang 624 Juliet requesting permission to land. Sally picked up the radio. Mustang, this is Carlsbad. You are clear to land from the east. Crosswind, six to seven knots, visibility clear. The high-pitched whine grew ever louder until the afternoon sun reflected off the silver fuselage of the P-51 Mustang that quickly came into view. Sally guided the Mustang to a reserved area. James Stewart opened the cockpit and stepped out, easily recognisable with his distinguished tousled grey hair. Sally said with utmost enthusiasm, Welcome to Carlsbad, Mr Stewart. My name is Sally Connors. She offered accommodation in her parents' home. She said her parents were big fans of his. Her dad was in the 82nd Airborne in World War II. On Memorial Day, James Stewart methodically went through his pre-flight check as Sally watched every one of his movements and committed them to memory. He handed Sally a fire extinguisher with specifics and simple instructions. If you see a fire, put it out. Over the next three years, James Stewart kept in touch with Sally. He 
his Mustang was hanging at Santa Monica and whenever he was taking it up, he called to see if Sally wanted to take a ride. After Sally graduated from high school, retired Air Force General James Stewart and Congressman Ron Packard recommended Sally Connors for admittance to the Air Force Academy. In her first military deployment with the 76th Tactical Fighter Squadron, Sally flew 611 sorties in her A-10 Thunderbolt during the Desert Storm campaign, which lasted August 1990 to February 91. She was later assigned to an F-16 fighter jet squadron in 1994 and was stationed at Aviano Air Base in Italy. Whilst there, she received the news that James had died July 2nd, 1997. She was given leave to attend the funeral. Jimmy's Mustang had been left to her. Sally flew above Forest Lawn Cemetery and wrote Jimmy across the sky. Later in her career, Sally flew with the Air Force Thunderbirds Air Demonstration Squadron and later was accepted into the program to fly the SR-71 Blackbird Stealth Fighter. This plane can attain speeds of over Mark III at 80,000 feet. Sally remained on active duty for 25 years and reached the rank of Colonel before transferring from active duty to a reserve unit at Edwards Air Force Base. She was promoted to Brigadier General, the same rank that her mentor and role model James Stewart held at the time of his retirement from the Air Force. Sally became a test pilot for several aircraft manufacturers and as a hobby began entering Red Bull Air Races. She won enough times to become the number one pilot on the tour. Throughout her entire career, Sally used Mustang as her call sign. On May 28, 2018, General Sally Connors flew at the Memorial Day Air Show at Carlsbad Airport in her P-51 Mustang, proudly displaying Jimmy on its tail fin. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe to promote future content.